answers for the most part. <laughs> are we all allowed to be here, or you want? All right, to I'm gonna. Here? Do we want to introduce ourselves, or do we just want to hop right into questions? Uh, introduce ourselves. Yeah. Introduce all right, I'm I am Hazard. I am the co-GM of the Portland Admirals. <laughs> For as long as he knows. I am Max Weber on the site. That's my player. And I'm very happy to be here and to try to herd all these cats that are on the podcast. Ooh, all right, well, uh, I'm Wally. I'm actually Hazard's boss. And uh, I will let him play the mom role, but yeah. Hi, Dad. Yeah, Thanks. You'll be the, you'll be the cool I, oh, I definitely want to be the mom, not the dad. I'm oh, much more know. suited for the mom role. You are. You're really good at that. <laughs> uh, I'm Tweedle. Speaking I'm hosting which. the whole thing uh, <laughs> on Twitch. I, th yeah, that thank is this you for voice. streaming. Thank you for well, streaming. I wouldn't say week. hosting the whole thing, but I'm in a digital way hosting it. The GIF game is so good, man. I, I just can't stop looking at him. At the Bork? At oh, the yeah. Bork. <laughs> <At the> bork. <laughs> I had to make sure I had to make sure the Bork was there, I had to make sure Akbar was there, and then some dumb hockey was there. Okay. Oh, I haven't even man. taken a look at it. I gotta bring this up. I'm OB. Who cares? Oh, I care. I care. Oh, we, we care. care. We now more. care. Our new uh, more. <laughs> Ray Pajon is on the site and then 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, Nobody actually. New, knows new that, acquisition, but... Ray Peonis. Wait, wait, can can you repeat like how you actually say your player's name? Yes, please. I've, I've been like thinking how you say Pejones. it like so many times. Pejones. Pejones. Yeah, the Spanish I like way. It. What? Oh, the J's as an A. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 so the Latvians are. That's like that's like <laughs> not Juan, but like Juan. Yeah, that's obese, okay. everyone. By Jose? the way. Yeah, introduce yourself, obese. Uh, yeah, I'm obese. My player is Theodore Stuckers. Uh, I'm multitasking as motherfucking now because I'm watching Vertus Pro versus North in CS:GO. I'm watching New York Knicks versus <laughs> where is it? who they're playing. I don't know. Uh, Ho uh, Charlotte Hornets. And I'm here. To answer yeah, your question. I'm watching CS:GO as well at the moment. Yeah, Fuck and you know, you know, you know, watching New York Knicks basketball. Come on, Porzingis, dude. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I didn't know he was playing. Ah, uh, <laughs> see. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I'm here to know that. We All got right. one more. Yeah, one more. Yeah, you gotta save the best for last. Already. <laughs> I'm number no, one, one, also known as Obrana, uh, Barack. That is best defenseman <laughs> on the Portland Animals for some for whatever reason. We don't know. Ar Arnie, um, what, what season did you get drafted? Let's not talk about that now. Yeah, don't no, get what that with I, I, really, I can't remember. What season? Uh, 28, I think. <laughs> it's, yeah. And, how, um, and, and, and have you broken 500 TPE yet? <laughs> Just call him an Shut asshole. Wow. Just, Just call him an asshole. <laughs> Mom's <laughs> being really mean right now. Hey, I'm a, I'm a, hey, I was, love mom, you guys. I am a tough love mom. How many goals did I score, huh? How many scores? How many goals did Weber score, huh? Weber, what? I'm sorry. Weber. Weber. I'm sorry. No, he he wants. I mean, he wants to be like Andy, traded away. <laughs> oh, traded. You're all traded. <laughs> Even you. In the, end, in, in the end of this podcast, we're gonna trade one person away from the list. <laughs> that, that's the giveaway. Give away. Give away. Give away. <laughs> it's a giveaway. <laughs> we're giving away. No, no. At, 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 what, 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 like, at 10 listeners, we're gonna give away one player. <laughs> wow. Spoiler alert. The... It's, it, it's O'Brana. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Thanks. Trade it for him to the Maybe. Regina Force, if anyone knows what's the Regina Force, actually. Hey, don't joke about that. I'd probably relocate Prince George if I had the power. What are you talking about? <laughs> we're, we're, uh, we're trading him to the Impact. Impact? Oh, no, we're, no. no. Well, impact. What was it? M militia? No, the Impact. <laughs> Who's the impact? one before the Militia. No, yeah, I mean, like, Militia was the old name, was Impact, right? Something. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But Regina Force and its dicks. That dick logo. Mm. <laughs> also known as a moose. Yeah, it because like they a... have the main boot camp for the RCMP. It just yeah. looks like a dick for me. 
That's what a lot of people said, and it just made me sad. Well, as as a brother already That's knows, nice there's thing, actually though. like a lot of talk to rename Prince George Firebirds to Fire Mooses. <laughs> Fire you know, in, in honor of like this team and the Impact team. <laughs> Oh, I'm Interesting. Just that... Um, I didn't hear this before, actually. It's good oh, to know. Oh, really? Me. It's good you to didn't, know. You, you didn't read what Pre Ben was saying. Probably right, not. Right, guys. I'm gonna get okay. us back on track. And... <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. It's my it, it's it's my job as the mom. Um, all right, hey, kids. Mom. Uh, this we got four questions here. First round of them submitted by Benches Isaac Kaiser from the Admirals. Where is he? Uh, I don't know where he is, but he's uh, he's the official chirper of the Portland Admirals, and his chirp of the day today, by the way, is the only hazard in Portland is Max Weber and his hazard to Portland's future. Oh, so Show that that's a he's pretty got good my back. I love how he only chirps us for the most part. That I'm not going to complain too much about that. Anyway, his first question is: What are our thoughts on Portland's future? Pretty general one. Mm -hmm. I'll let um, you guys. I'll let yeah. you guys go with that one right now. <laughs> obviously, you guys will all get my input at some point. Beautiful as long as I'm there. <laughs> nice. I mean, I, if anybody has a good grasp of our future, it's probably LB. Yeah. Yeah. You pretty well. I mean, it might be nice to hear Here. from somebody who's like. Yeah. How about how about this? I'll I'll re-question the question and. To, and I'll put it to LB and I'll say, what were your initial thoughts when you found out that you were coming to Portland? Actually, I found out, I, I was looking at my profile, I looked who, who was visiting me and I, I saw, <laughs> I yeah. yeah, I saw like Wally, Hazard, O'Brien, I believe as well, and someone else. And then I mm -hmm. saw Buffalo, <laughs> like, Boris, who's a great guy, and, mm. and for, do for those who don't know, I was drafted in the expansion draft by Buffalo. Mm. So I, I did not know that. And I, uh, and I, uh, like, how could I say? I went to, as a free agent to West Kendall after Buffalo, and mm. I hated my time there. So if I had mm. to choose, I would go Portland 100% all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah I heard you so. talk, uh, listen to your podcast the other day at work. So, yeah. a little more detail there too. So yeah, but um, Steam has some great future. I believe we had a lot of young guys who I don't know, like a fucking lot. Like, what's the main problem now? I believe like wingers or something, or there are no problems. Like for for Portland. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, art. We really don't have any problems. Um, you know, we Women. got we got rid of yeah. We got rid of um, a couple people just because of, uh, well, we got one, rid of one specifically just for locker room atmosphere. I mean, you could equate that too, but um, outside of that, we've, you know, we just, we just got to develop. And so bringing you in, bringing in uh, Bananov basically is just going to hit that Excel button a little bit on uh, what we're planning on doing after once once this off season's done, uh, people will start seeing how all the pieces have come together. Yeah, just can't well, let into well, too many things. Well, he said it best. Yeah, I mean, we're we're not done building the team by any means. We got the draft coming up this weekend. We're gonna add at least two really good prospects that I'm excited about. Um, and we've we've definitely got some targets in free agency and some. Um, We've got we got some room to sign some deals. Yeah, you know I mean we're not too cap constrained, especially a couple years out. So I'm I'm excited for what the team's going to look like, and you know I I really think that contention window can happen sooner rather than later. But I'm biased because it's my team. <laughs> um, It'll all right, be so. I didn't mean to cut somebody off there. I'm gonna I'm gonna move it along to another question from Kaiser, which is, uh, who's the best player coming into this draft class in your own opinions? I am. Yeah, yeah you are. You absolutely yeah. are. But yeah. other than you, um, oh. I'm gonna abstain from this question, obviously, because I have a draft to do on Sunday. <laughs> oh, you mean like this this uh, draft? Yeah. yeah who, do you, who do you like the best out of this draft? Who do you, who do you, who do you think's the best player? I think this draft class is really hard because I love, I love recreates and, and 
and I I I'm not jealous of your work this season. Uh, yeah, it looks like the oh. first couple of rounds are going to be uh, pretty yeah. solid. Oh yeah, there's definitely two rounds worth of decent prospects in this draft for sure. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I didn't see that one coming. The uh, I thought yeah, you know, honestly, about three weeks ago, I kind of thought this was this might be like a almost a three rounds deep draft in terms of like really good players. But I, I'd say there's two rounds of good players, but there's probably value through three rounds. Just more risk in the third, obviously. I would agree. Um, you know, I think I think it's definitely a top heavy a top heavy draft. I mean, it's from from what we had discussed um, primarily in the beginning of the season as we started seeing people adding themselves into this next draft. It's obviously widened a little bit, but um, you know, I think with us having only picks basically in the first round, I think that we'll find the value that we need. And we don't, we don't, we don't really want too many picks this draft for the fact that we have the people that we have right now on the team are, are really a good core in what we're trying to build around and from. All right. I'm going to move it along to another question. Cause we got so many to get through, but, uh, it's funny that no one actually like, said no, no specific player. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's, it, that's I, true. I, yeah. But the I GMs mean, ended up answering it. Do you guys have a best yeah, player? Yeah, I would like to actually there? hear what yeah. what players you guys feel are uh, the strongest. Okay, in, the in my opinion, uh, Tanner and mm -hmm. his player. Yeah. His, like, his TP is like already really high, mm -hmm. and and I, based on like his previous player, he knows what he's doing and he's Which really player active. Is this? So, uh, Tyler. Hello. Hello. Tanner. He, he has like Tanner. some okay. finish or something. Well, like Cullen or something. Yeah, yeah. I, I can, uh, I can read it. But yeah, I think he's definitely gonna have another, another really, really good player. So, yeah, in my opinion, he's the best in this class. Yeah, he's cool in the locker room too. He's in the uh, Kelowna Knight locker room for a little while. <laughs> Was he a knight? What, was Jacob Tanner a knight? Yeah, he was. Uh, no, uh, his player now that's getting drafted. He uh, started no, he... after the. Uh, he started after the date where you could still join the team and then go into the draft the next season. And then he got drafted by the Whalers, I think. Huh. But before that, he was a knight for like three fourths or a fourth of the season. Huh. I think he won the cup. Oh, he's right, there. right, right. I remember now. He's a uh, he's he was a Colorado player in after the draft. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, but no, I remember that now. He signed with Kelowna, that's right. Yeah, he was cool huh. there. And I I could vouch for a couple of other uh I know uh we were laying a beer. He's got the good TP and he's that sniper build we were kind of looking for and um yeah, I'm very impressed with Langabeer. Uh I think he's pretty good. I think that, I mean, O'Rourke kind of, he had that previous player that busted, but he's, you know, been earning tons of TPE, and he's a who shooter. Is the, who is that O'Rourke? Lachlan O'Rourke, legend? Yeah. yeah. Who was he mm. before? He's new. Oh, no, he was a, uh, he went inactive. He's from back in the day. Yeah, who was he, he went, yeah, he busted. He was a, uh, his his account was Carly Ray Jemson. I forget. Oh, <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I didn't know I think that. I know. That's funny. I know, I know who that was. Yeah, he was drafted high by the Panthers, and then he just went to Nacto, I believe. Interesting. That was yeah, he's, he's season cool twenty six. Season twenty six uh, something. I was gonna say I don't know who's looking for a goalie this draft, but uh, Anders player. Uh, he's real fun in the locker room too. He's a real cool guy. So I'm hoping he ends up somewhere fun, if not here. Well, and Anders is Thompson, right? Yeah. Yeah, he he's the one who said he'll only sign where Langabeer is drafted. Yeah, I hope that's true. I hope that comes to the truth. He's real fun in the locker room. Is he? Hmm. Is that truth or is that sarcasm? No, that's truth. He was helping Sammy with oh. his homework the other day. It was great. 
Sammy. <laughs> nice. Sam, who was that Sam, Sammy guy again? That that little thing, that Sammy Iqbal guy, right? That little thing. <laughs> oh <my laughs> <God>. <laughs> How old is he? Like, 15? Yeah, Sammy's young. Isn't he like 13? Uh, he's 13. 15. 15? In the HHL Discord, yeah. it said 15 today. Yeah, he's oh. 15. Oh, I had no idea. Fuck. By the way, uh, if... hey, what's wrong with that? God. Yeah, you gotta go fought. easy on him. He's he's got hey, a lot Twitter. to learn. That's only we need three to get years another, from me. We need to get another NHL '94 Sega Genesis. Oh, it's video. almost that's almost two decades for me. <laughs> it's it's I, okay. I have a I have a brother who's in his 40s, so I get the uh, the difference. Yeah, Wally, you're in your 40s, right? Shut up, Hazard. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Wally's hey, only 35. Hey, my I'm brother games. Fuck so. you. <laughs> Only 35. Sorry, 34. <laughs> I was still on the season 33 uh, prospect topic. Yeah, we can be. All right. No, no. I just wanted to uh, give shout outs to two Prince George guys who joined for the first time, which is Sorator and Symmetric. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're doing really good. Like Sorator is an exceptional fl like player and like uh, a member of this boards. community. Sorator guy. He's yeah, and Symmetric is doing everything. really well as well. Yeah, he's very active. Uh, yeah, Chris York, so, Symmetric's yeah, player. Chris York Symmetric's been active. Yeah, I just yeah. Shout Those out are good shoutouts. Yeah. Yep. Definitely. All right. Next question. Who Kaiser wants to know who? You know what? I'm gonna skip part of it because it's like a four-part question. I'm just gonna say, who's the best locker room presence in Portland? Here, as it's the worst. locker room. I know I'm the worst, but. Because I'm a shit prospect, but who's the best locker room? Uh, I thought like the biggest and most awesome turnaround was benches coming back. That that was surprising. Yeah. I, th I thought he was gonna be inactive, and then yeah, um, he's back and he's talking shit all the time. That's that's pretty fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah I... fun with they shit all the time. <laughs> oh, I love having benches around, man. I I am. So I love that he's here. progressing his player. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, it seems like he's uh even if we have to incentivize him. <laughs> Snuffle has some pretty good lines though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so speaking of benches, I'm going to give us his last question cuz it's a good question. Why the Why fuck I... is Tweeds in charge of this? <laughs> <laughs> I have bigger fiber. That that's a great reason right there. Uh, yeah. My upload is that a control, Sorry, it sounded like someone wanted to answer the locker room presence question. Go yeah, ahead. I want. I just, I just wanted to say a big thank you to you, Hazard, for sharing all the food pictures and always <laughs> making me hungry. Oh, <laughs> all right, guys, this is where I wrap up for the night and sign off. <laughs> <laughs> if yeah. I have to listen oh, to this shit, Wally, you like my food picture. But no, no, here's no, here's the Obese. thing. Here's the thing. Obese, you got to close your jaw a little bit more when you're complimenting him. <laughs> no, no, here's the thing. Fuck it. Fuck off. Uh, when, when, no, in, on SHL uh, Discord, right, there always is, are these, uh, where is the uh, pet pictures? What was the guy uh, names? Onyx. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I just hate them. Uh, it's so annoying. Like, it's really annoying. Uh, this, I hope yeah, Alan's watching this. No, cute, this is, no, this is, pet this, pictures are so annoying. Rather, like, this is, so this this is, is different. Story. This is different. You know, it gives something something new rather than like looking at dogs and cats. The no, no, don't talk don't talk shit about Pushkin. Honestly, <laughs> I don't think is it the cat. I don't know. I like. Really it's the know. cat. It sounds, like a cat. Too. it sounds like a cat. Yeah, it's Bojo's cat, right? Yeah. yeah. I can I cannot imagine. I cannot imagine a dog being called Pushkin. I would do that. I want to call my cats Mika and Heiki and Kimi for fuck's sake. Finnish words, yeah. <laughs> yo, here's the no, yo, dude. You you said specifically I hate his dog. No, I don't hate his dog. I no. said I said in general all the pet pictures. In general, he hates all dogs. Yeah, I don't. I don't like. I don't like. He hates animals. I mentioned I don't animals. Like, I, don't like animals. Like, I don't like pets. Fuck them. 
No <laughs> kids, no pets. You got it wrong with me. You can save me, dude. Sorry, I'm just like, holy fuck, I played this game so much. I thought we were talking about food. Well, this food turned out to be its thing. But every time you start to speak, I, I think about the Fresh Prince of Bel Air theme song, you know? I don't know why, it just always sounds like you're gonna sing it. It just starts to talk about who, who, Who's gonna sing it? You. You're gonna Me? sing it. Yes. Me? <laughs> always sounds like you're so, so hyped up, like, fuck. <laughs> you know? Oh, anyway. I just saw Dale Howardchuck on Philly. That makes me sad. That's a jet. Sorry. Okay. Anyway, he's just overrated then. Um. All right. What's our next? Our next question. These qu thanks, by the way, again, benches. If you ever listen to this, for those questions, uh, we got questions from Kyle Prince now. Which is, who do you think will be the steal of the draft? I think that's hard to know. Well, yeah. Obviously, without it. Um, uh, I think I think a couple of names mentioned that you guys are talking about on Prince George could definitely fit that build, depending on where they fall. And then you got, you know, Wiki continuing to talk about how he's going to fall off the bottom of the earth and end up in round four. <laughs> if that's the case, then that'd be a steal. Yeah, going that low. <laughs> <laughs> which I don't think he will. Anybody coming out around four probably would win that title, yeah. Yeah. So, obviously, we. I think for this draft, anything you consider a steal is probably going to end up being a, a very late second or an incredibly early third, just with the activity of the, of the draft list. I have one person in mind who can be the steal. And don't call me biased because I know that person. <laughs> but it's Yogurta and Isaac Carmier Hale. She's always mm -hmm. so silent all around the board. She only peeps in her locker rooms, you know, and then yeah, that could yeah, that could definitely like, be a possibility then. I yeah, mean, but, she, but she's always like she's not super active, but she will do her stuff like mm -hmm. PTs and uh, oh yeah, yeah, checks. So I don't know any of the new guys except her and like Tanner and Kit, and that's it probably. So I think she will be one of the steals of the draft. She will go to a scandal. I know that. <laughs> as, as every girl. <laughs> no, I honestly I honestly think that the steal will probably be anyone from the new guys. Because I like when I think about recreate, it there's no way in 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 my opinion that a recreate can be a steal, because even if the player like his previous player was uh, a bust. He still has a knowledge already of like maybe like how to change and don't do that and don't do this. But the new guys, right, when they're learning, if they manage to hit the right right places and put the like do the TPs and make the correct build, that's what makes it a steal instead of you know like. So I think any one of the new guys can be who's still like really. Well, TP active. doesn't matter that much if you're no, an active know, person know, like, on the board. But it, it shows a lot though. It shows a lot though. Yeah, because when I was drafted, I was in the top 10 of TPE. Now I'm, like, probably top 10 as well, but the thing is that... <laughs> <laughs> of my class... Now because... I'm probably top 1, but it doesn't matter. Top 10, but the, the problem was that I wasn't so active around the boards, and I was drafted, like, early, early 20s. Like, so... It doesn't entirely depend that you have the most TPE, you just... Yeah. Oh, I, but I like, was a recreate. That was the problem. I was a recreate. Well, so you were. You, so you were not a steal. Mm, I was a steal, probably because I. There was only Patrick Obure drafted after me, who was r relevant at the time, who still is relevant a bit. No, but I agree about the TP because, well, I know I I finished this first in the first year. Now, like, no. like the same hazard is like what. Way over, like past me, like what 30, 30 TP or even more. How many? Uh, t how much TP do you have, Kukors? Um, I have. Sorry, Zukors. Oh. Yes, yeah, yeah, thank you. Zukors, <laughs> Zukors, Zukors. Yeah. No, they they don't they they not they, they are gonna stay right. So fine. Um, obese, how much TP do you have? Yeah, well, four four hundred ninety three. Oh, okay, I'm at five thirty two. 
Yeah, it's almost at like 30, 40, yeah, yeah. How, how much earlier than me did you create? I'm just asking. Honestly, I don't know when you joined, but like at least three weeks. Because yep. I, I literally joined uh, when playoffs started. Okay, I, 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 think I, I think I joined five days before the juniors draft. Right, so, yeah, two weeks, three weeks. Uh, I'm <laughs> sorry, no, man. No, 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 uh, no, that's fine. No, but here's the thing, right? Okay, I joined, I joined two, three weeks uh, before. In those weeks, uh, I got 21 TP because, like, I cannot do n anything else. Oh, not even 21, uh, 15, because all I can do is training, which is uh, three, and uh, activity check, which was two. So five per week. So it's not that big of a you know deal, Bes like and then like of course we all know where you get it. You, you were doing p uh, play by plays. You were doing all the uh, uh, what was the name mm. post game shows, right? I, I I didn't do any play by play, and I'm still not doing it. So there there are always there are opportunities to you know like get get further uh, than someone else if you are willing to do stuff. You mean oh, if man. I try hard? Like I yeah, am, like yeah, I'm such yeah, a fucking tryhard. <laughs> like, like, no, for sure. You can compare like my player who's around 1.2 KTP right now, like 10 seasons in his career, and Baller Storm, uh, his player, right? Randy Randleman. He dri he joined after me, a while after me. He's around 1.7 K now, so mm -hmm. you know, 500 TP that doesn't you know doesn't even matter. <laughs> Oh, well, 500 and, is quite, quite a lot, though, yeah. Yeah, but... Still. But, like, no, no, the main thing, what I, I think the main thing is, as as long as you continue to grow on, the, like, in, like, steady pace, you know, uh, and you're not slacking, like, like, like you said, for example, about Yogurt Tab, right? Mm. She does the, TP, like, TP task, like, she maybe doesn't do any extra, t like, things, you know, like the uh, post-game shows or... Or the play by plays, but she still gets the TP and yeah, like she, she has grows. A steady like, growth. Yeah, 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 exactly. Like, she still grows. As long as you grow, it's fine. Yeah, I would be I would be around like one point four or one point five K if I was <laughs> sort of active when I was back in Buffalo. Thanks, Buffalo, you fucked it up. <laughs> Can we 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 all hate Buffalo, right? That's an yeah. expansion the rivalry. Yeah, I, I don't hate it, but hate sure, 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 hate sure, sure. hate. <laughs> Hate. <laughs> Fuck Buffalo. Yes. If, if you don't hate Buffalo, then you just lie to me and say you hate them. Because that's all I want to hear. It's like I, sweet I, nothings. I, 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 we don't I have any rivals. Tommen, but like he, he broke my heart when he said, like, they, you're not going to draft me. So I was like, Fuck you guys. I hate you now. Not Tommen's cool, but. Like, there are no rivalries anymore in SHL. And I'm gonna well, we'll create them. One We're trying to start one. I don't, I don't miss the rivalries, though. I want some rivalries. <laughs> like, I've missed the Texas the like whole the, day. Oh, like I do Detroit. not miss that at all. The early <laughs> S20 Texas yeah, that was so Raiders, fun. that was terrible. Because I was fun. on the receiving end of that most of the time. <laughs> that was so fun. Like, I, I mean, I won't lie. I have, I have some... Those were fun memories, but still, it wasn't a great community to spend your time in. I hated Maxi so much back in the day. America. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I, I know that feeling. Back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> true, true. It's like two years ago now. That's or not more. Right. Even more than That's two years. What, shh, shh. He's my boss now, okay? I can't say anything. <laughs> Wait, we're not starting player rivalries too? While we're at it? Uh, oh, oh, yeah, go ahead. Let's say, fuck yeah, Sam me, Iqbal. No, no, fuck no, sorry. Fuck Sam Max. It's Yo, such Hunter. an easy target. That's not fair, man. <laughs> Sorry. Hazard, are you following the uh, dumplings and Caesars game? Yes, I am. Yeah, I've been excellent got... for I've been excellent for the dumplings. Yeah, congr well, like, I'm I'm just reading through like congrats at the first goal. I don't know maybe you did another one. Holy fuck! Uh, who um. Was? All right. All right. Next question. Next question. Next question. In ten seasons, which team will be seen as the dynasty of seasons thirty-three to forty-three? Uh, oh, can you, so, sorry guys, uh, as, uh, me as a new f guy and this, all this, what does <coughs> dynasty mean? What do you mean dynasty? Like, like, like who's going to well, win the most cups in the next 10 like seasons? Back to back. Oh, yeah, I, Portland. 
No, no other options. All right, all right. I, I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna come in. We're gonna come in, and we're gonna take it away in the like we far and deep first, high seas. We have to be the first team, the first expansion team to both qualify for the playoffs and win the, the cup. Because exactly. Bu Fuck Buffalo. Buffalo. Buffalo same year. <laughs> hasn't qualified. We got close. Season twenty-seven, I believe, or season twenty-six. They were looking. But, Buffalo was looking good at the beginning of the season. They were. My God. I, I. They just fell off the fucking face of the earth in the second half. Yeah. Too bad. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <that's> too bad. <laughs> all right. All right. I'm gonna get a different question because I was. No, we're all okay. just gonna. Say, okay. We're all well, gonna say. Question. Question. We're all gonna all say. Right, next qu Sorry. Okay. You know what? Uh. Fucking LB submitted these questions, and yeah. I can, I can I answer? Can I answer? Can I answer? Yes. Go ahead. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Pronounce Palaistove. That's how you say Palaistove. Oh, he's just real. Okay. That's slut. Huh? Slut. Exactly. Well, don't ruin it. I knew what it was too, but I wanted to see people fucking get it. Okay. So yeah, what do you think Palaistove means? It means yeah, a freaking slut. My attempt would have been close. So. And the last question I refuse to answer. Yeah, I'm Fuck not answering you. that. Fuck yeah. all of you. What's the question? Why? How oh. awesome is LB? <laughs> <laughs> like, That's like, but... what, was, what was it? The Bojo thing? Like, when, I just, when I just joined SHL, I think it was Bojo. Like, everywhere, like, where they were questioned, they're like, oh, yeah, where is Bojo? The Bojo, I like, joined. I think, I, I'm not sure. I think that was him. And then he was like, yeah, oh, how awesome am I? And stuff like that. I was like, what the fuck? Who the fuck is this dude? Like, wh why he asked like, like, asking, like, asking the same threat. question everywhere. Bojo uh, stepping down legit makes me sad. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, that is sad. I, I like him because uh, he definitely showed the interest in changing things and, mm -hmm. and making different, like, in different, like, SHL. So, yeah, so he said uh, he was enjoying it too. He didn't want to have to step away. Yeah. I really liked it, his activity and everything. It was really cool. But did, oh, yeah. did you really like his pa uh, mass PMs with all of the gifts and stuff? And uh... I didn't mind it. I mean, I'm not a mobile though. What? If that's what you're saying. I got like three PMs from him. I think two in the beginning, and then like now, just one for the charity thing. <laughs> I just opened up the PM. I see Pushkin, and I'm I'm, I'm a bit <laughs> happy, but it's a fucking mass PM again. Like I get, I get excited for PMs and it, it's a <laughs> I fucking. Know. Yeah, I can. It's a fun. It's fun. It's Pushkin. It's okay. I like the cat, but it's push. But thanks, Bojo. Oh God, you fucked it up it. again. Oh. You traded me, and now you yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. Here we here we go. Here we go. Mm. Uh, Fuck yeah. Way one. What? Fuck it. What? Sorry. What is wrong? What are you? What are you doing? No, right no, no. Now? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Well, I'm an emotional person. Like we just <laughs> won like this is fucking Caesar's way. Their pizzas and get back to Detroit. What? <laughs> get the fuck. Get the fuck out of Russia. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You know, you know, I know why we won. Because like at the beginning, I said, guys, if you're gonna win, you're not gonna go home. Like. From the body bags, but like you're not gonna get home. What are you like fucking like he's, he's he's about talking about? What are you talking about? About the uh, fantasy league. Yeah. The yeah. SMJHL fantasy series. Yeah. Fantasy series. Oh. Sorry, guys. Uh, Sorry, guys. Oh, that was a thing. Yeah, it, it, it is a thing. It was. It, it, it still is. <laughs> I'm not quite it, sure it's what it is. But... First round. What the fuck are you on about? Oh, jeez. Oh, B's getting angry. <laughs> <laughs> no, right. I'm a genius. The, 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 like I'm, I'm, I'm. I care about my players and everything. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you <laughs> oh, down. Oh Jesus, God! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ezra, get on the next question, Cliff. Next, next question. Before okay. we have the Latvians yeah. singing old school. I'm not. American I'm not song. gonna wait for you guys. Uh, JHS has got some questions for us. What is everyone in the Portland portion of the podcast, so right now, favorite NHL teams? Oh. <laughs> I don't really follow anymore, but it used to be New Jersey. So I guess well, my point doesn't New really Jersey. count. Fuck New Jersey. Colorado Avalanche. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, the Owls are no, terrible, no. man. They're gonna fucking set a record for being um, the worst team no, ever. Here's basically. the thing. Basically, what Portland what? just did last season. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> physicality up to five. <laughs> That's it. Physicality up to five. No, I, I personally really like Avalanche. Like fifteen years ago, I don't know. Like fifteen years ago, I liked Avalanche. That's why uh, so that you don't have to remind most. me that Avalanche is shit because every time I uh, look, look up Reddit, I, I open the hockey subreddit. Every time that the top post is about the Avalanche being shit. <laughs> Today I got in an argument with a wild fan that thought that uh, Colorado has been irrelevant for the past hundred years. So fuck all, <laughs> cunts. <laughs> mild no. Minnesota, mild. If there, if here's anyone, anyone here is a Minnesota fan, I will literally punch the shit out of my PC. Oh no, no! Fuck you. that! Fuck Minnesota. Hey, I live right next to Minnesota. Right, what? What are okay? What other options do we have? So we have Avalanche. We have New Jersey who, Devils. Yeah, New Jersey Devils or something. Mm -hmm. Blackhawks. Okay, so Devils. So Wally, oh, Wally's Black. a Blackhawks oh. fan. Yeah. Blackhawks. That's well, like that's the, the, the stupid ass Jets. Okay, uh -oh. I will go. Yes, yes, yes. I am a Winnipeg Jets fan. Fake. Right. Fan. Fake. <laughs> Atlanta Thrashers, baby. <laughs> Bring back the trash. Memories. <laughs> Either go check it, Daddy Heatley. That was some good times. I'm a Wings fan, Red Wings fan. So me same. I wanna. Uh, I'm going with the same. So we so win. We, we win. We we have more votes for the Red Wings. So it's official. But I'm also a Sabres fan. So yeah, whatever. Uh, Fuck so you. yeah. Wait, Red so Red you're a convert. Lightning. You just you just traded your. You just joined Red Team Red Wings. I'm so, right with that. So yeah, who all, no, no, who no, all no, said no, that they no, would I would say the same. I would have said the same. Fuck but you just said it first. Oh, I thought you said Colorado. No, no, no. I said like, the, no, because LB said like Colorado Avalanche. Everyone was like, oh yeah, shit, blah, blah, blah. I said like, oh. I liked the Avalanche 10, like 15 years ago, whatever. Now, like if someone asked me what's my NHL team, uh, I don't watch NHL, no shit about it. But yeah, uh, if I have to answer, I go with uh, Detroit Red Wings. Yeah. Fuck the Red Wings. Fuck the Red Wings. Fuck the Devils. Fuck the Hawks. <laughs> no, but it looks, I, like, but I... looks like Portland's entering a f complete go, rebuild. Jets, go Jets, <laughs> go! He didn't say fuck the Jets. Yes. <laughs> we're already in the central fuck up zone. That's just because they're the new Thrashers. That's the only reason. Yeah. Oh, they're not the new Thrashers. You know, you know they're not. They're that's the not... Thrashers with they... Line A. Yeah, oh, they, fuck you. But the Thrashers had whole Kovalchuk, so, you know, Answer another year. Don't bring up Kovalchuk with a Devils fan. God. Oh, yes! <laughs> Yo, Hazard. What? That's, that's you, right when I stopped starting. That's when, right when I stopped being a fan. Sorry. Right. Uh, you were the Jets fan, yeah? Yeah, I'm the Jets fan. So, so this is my question. Why would you call your ice hockey team by, like... A fr by freaking plane. <laughs> what? Like, why? What? Why, why your symbol what? is a plane? Oh, I'll search it up real quick. I'm, I'm just not even gonna respond to that. Like, that's because you don't know, know has it. <laughs> Like Avalanche, okay, I get that, you know, like whether, well, okay, there's a lot of other shit, but it's like Jets, really? What? That's I'm searching like it up. Canadian military, right? Yeah, it's the Royal Canadian Air Force. The Canadians even have military. It's like, sorry, 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 Yo, military are mooses, a bunch of mooses. Wow! It's a harsh crowd, man. Harsh crowd. I mean, I'm not Canadian, but I, I do, oh, I do sorry, take eh? that a little bit personally. Goddamn. <laughs> yeah, okay, the, Tanner is uh, making a very good point in the chat, which is that... The sabers are a sword. They are just a fucking sword. That is dumb. Yeah, the that is, but it's, it's, it's a play on words. It's a play on right. words because it's buffalo. You get it? Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. it's still an animal. You know, like most of the things are like something around animals or something. Yes. So they're a buffalo sword. Oh, Toe makes an even better point. Let's go. How is, how is falling rocks in snow a better logo than a plane? I'm not talking about the logo. I'm talking, I'm like, How is a meal with the wing better lo a better logo? Come on, the Jets logo is awesome. It is fantastic. It's, yeah, but no, the but Red Wings like, though. I didn't, I didn't mean like nothing about the logo, like uh, how it's made or whatever. But like, why plane? It's the meaning. Well, 
The, like, I mean, the, ne- the next the next thing will be like freaking, I don't know, San Antonio, like, Boeing's. Why not? San Antonio, oh my god. Boeing. I don't know, I just, just ran the can't even right now. I, didn't really <laughs> I like literally you, uh, cannot I even. You they already have a team, I think, shark, no, sharks, yeah. San Antonio? Sharks? Jose. <laughs> San Jose. Jose. Sorry, sorry. 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 Sorry, I like the, sorry, I like Jose and uh, like the Ducks when I was a kid, just because they were the cool new California. I, I, yeah. so, I always loved their logo, though. We have ten viewers. Who's getting traded? <laughs> yeah, okay, viewers. Who do you think should be traded? <laughs> I feel yeah. like I'm actually like digging my own grave here by asking. This, this. No, no, this is this is this is nice. This is interaction. You are you. just I'll, keep going. I'll put up a straw poll and everybody can vote. Yeah, yeah let's go. Straw poll. Who should we trade? <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, here. all right. Ne- next, next question. <coughs> while Tweedle figures out. Hold on, cool. hold on. Before, hold before on. we, yeah. What? I'll, I'll just throw in my perspective on the wings. One, they fucking suck. Two. <laughs> I have, I <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> we were gonna move Two. on. Two. I have a Red Wings jersey in my storage that I will be lighting on fire probably within the next couple months just because I'm sick of holding on to it for that purpose. I was going to drive actually to the Joe Louis Arena and do that, but I just haven't found the motivation to do that because, let's face it, they fucking suck. You guys are terrible. (laughs) That is some deep-sounding hate right there. Wow, yeah, jeez. I'm a Hawks fan. I should sell like that. I mean... yeah, like, that's fair, but you're in another division now. That's yeah, true, but... and I still have hate. <laughs> like, like, like yeah. my hate goes back to when Probert played for Detroit. Oh yeah, that's a ways. Because he's beating the shit out of you. Yeah. Touche. His Toosh. fights with Josh and Lemieux what? were. What? Who of the just best said touche? <laughs> 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 the Latvia who doesn't know what that means. <laughs> That's it. It's quiet. Um, <laughs> all right. So all right, am, I, am right. I keeping this poll to just people in the chat? Uh, yeah, I've been watching too. Just make a make, make an article about it. Who got who has? There's two sure. votes for me, two votes for Wally so far. Yes. <laughs> Wait, yes. where do I get to see this? <laughs> Wait, I haven't even posted the. No, I mean from what people are saying, and just in the chat. Oh. 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 <laughs> Yeah. There's the strong. Oh, fucking... oh. What about the bird? Oh. Yes. Very nice. Pull this. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna move us on to a next question. All right. God damn it. Can I choose more than one, please? <laughs> choose all of them. Check, 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 check. Fuck what's you, that's the right. uh, what's the best book you've ever read? I'm going a little off topic. That's easy. But Ooh. Pinocchio. Jesus. <laughs> now, my my favorite book of all times and the best book I ever read, uh, ser- like truth is uh, Robinson Crusoe. Okay. Good book. I lo- I I just like books about like those times, like 16th, 17th century, like pirates and all that. Go pirates! <laughs> <laughs> Was there like a team in Pittsburgh? Pirates? Yeah, it's a baseball team in Pittsburgh. Pirates. Oh, ba- baseball. My, uh, high school alma mater was a pirate. <laughs> well, you think we are Portland Admirals, but no one said we know like if we know pirates. We we can be pirates as well. <laughs> our, the team is our... right. The team is right. Just like how Halifax is known for its Raiders. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they stole it from us. The scandal platoon. I got the militia and the Raiders confused. Uh. For the first like six months, I was on the website. Militia Raiders. Yeah. I, 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 my my favorite is when people use the Texas logo and they're trying to use the Halifax one. <laughs> I haven't All seen right, that guys, one. Books, books, books. What's your favorite book? Oh, guys? That's okay. I can answer this quite easy because I'm actually looking to go to university for a major in sports management. So I can say quite easily that my favorite book is Moneyball. I've seen the movie many times and the book is just perfect it's which by far my book favorite book movie? sorry which is better book or movie ah um they both have sort of different angles on wrong it wrong answer book next 
That's <laughs> not that's not true because they're both different information and mediums, and I have a better open mind. Oh, shut up, woman! Who <laughs> is that? Me or him? Oh my god! Both of you. That was Latvian Hazard. fight. Latvian fight. Latvian, Latvian, Latvian fight. I'm not Latvian. No, I'm that Latvian. was for well, you, Hazard, because you're the only mom here, so only female. Oh wow! Oh. Yay! <laughs> it's just a Did woman diss. Yeah, I'm like, did I just oh, get? Kitchen. Okay, anyway. Cancer doesn't know what just happened. Tweedles, Tweedles, what's your Tweedles? What's your favorite book? My favorite book is probably Dune, sci-fi book. That's a great choice. Mm, fantasy kind of. It has a book. I've been meaning to watch it. I mean, read it. <laughs> yeah, Dune. It's a book. It's a good one. I if you're into like, uh, game. it gets pretty crazy. Wait, is is the book based on the game, or game is based on the book? No, Dune, D-U-N-E. Oh, Dune! I saw Doom. Okay, sorry. <laughs> My bad. That, yeah, okay. Imagine a book called Doom and, like, based on the game. Or the way around. Oh, God, it's like, shoot, kill, fuck, dead. <laughs> no, that would be, like, some horror <laughs> shit. No, no, that would be horror. I think it's Total Recall. The movie, Is yeah? It? Kinda. I guess there's not a lot of demons in Total Recall, but there's a lot of Mars. I mean, there's a Doom movie. Oh, true, yeah, with The yeah. Rock, yeah? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, Let's, oh, we don't God. like to talk about that. <laughs> Alright, who has answered the question? Hazard, I Wally? Am. Wally, what's your favorite book? Uh, Killer Angels, it's a, it's a, a Civil War book based on Battle of Gettysburg. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm huge into Civil War history. Alright. <laughs> is it like a fiction? Or is it a... Nope. Non-fiction. I, I can't even tell you guys the last time I read. It probably had to been grade school. It was the last time I read anything fiction. Huh. I just, I always read either it's sports history or uh, usually war history. All right. Uh, I'll answer then. M my, I'm going to pick two because one's like my favorite book of all time and the other is like <laughs> my favorite book I've read recently. All right. Um, and the favorite book I've read of all time is Isaac Asimov's Foundation. Ooh, yeah, that's a good one. Because, I don't know, it's just kind of the... Like, if I think of sci-fi, that's like the first thing that comes to mind for me is Foundation and reading that. In like, I, I think I was in the sixth or seventh grade and just... I've read it... I've probably read it ten times at different points in my life. Um... But I guess the my favorite book that I've read most recently is is a nonfiction book called The Only Rule Is It Has to Work. Nice. And that is about um it's sort of like Moneyball, but it's it's about um these two guys who are baseball bloggers who end up getting a chance to run a independent minor league team in, in the Bay Area. And just basically try everything, like weird fucking positional shifts and strange lineups and using, you know, using um, relievers in interesting ways. All these things that like advanced stats have indicated in baseball would be like beneficial to a team that nobody that goes completely against conventional baseball wisdom. And it's a good book. I, I really enjoyed it because um, I'm a huge baseball guy. I love baseball. Um, I like the sound of it. Yeah, it's a great book. I very much enjoy. It. I also enjoyed uh, Greg Wyshynski's "Take Your Eye Off the Puck." It's just kind of a fun read. Uh, anyway. Oh, s speaking of fun reads, uh, sports wise, the "Lonely End of the Rink" is pretty great. Yeah. If, uh, sorry. I just said yeah, as in yeah. Tell it's me uh, more. yeah. Is, I think he's a CBC writer, and he ended up. Uh, he goes through this entire story of how he starts hockey late because he's sort of traumatized by it as a child and he decides to be goalie and just goes through his entire childhood at the same time and his future of developing as a goalie. So it's very comical as since he's a CBC writer and very relatable for someone who moved here, moved to Canada as, from America and was sort of exposed to this very high very hierarchy adjusted society and where bullying is very prevalent in at least hockey hmm well, i'm just kind of staring looking at my bookcase right now um <laughs> i uh 
No, seriously, because like I've read some good books recently. I read uh, Shea Serrano's book called The Rap Yearbook. I don't know if you guys have heard of that. No. But he basically tries to, he tries to go through the history of rap music all the way back to 1979 and pick one song that he believes is the most important rap song of that year and then discuss it in in context at a really like interesting level of detail. Um so I don't know. He he uh he used to write for Grantland about basketball and about rap music before it closed. I've also got like a bunch of cookbooks. But anyway, I was I was um, asking actually ask how oh, many cookbooks fuck. do you have there? Uh, I'm looking at four right, right now. Um probably I, I think I have like close to 10 or something. Um but they're kind of all over the place. I've got one called the Flavor Bible sitting here. It's very like technique driven and all this stuff and then a couple uh you're working on that technique aren't you has yeah yeah for the left-handed handies yeah that's right <laughs> i i have another question about books yes <clears throat> ask it uh i think you mentioned the one book yeah that you read like 10 times through your lifetime or something right foundation uh, yeah, yeah yeah foundation yeah <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. So my question is, uh, does anyone else from you is able to read a book or like say watch a movie that you already seen or read? Because I personally, I cannot, I, like everything like that for me is like one timer because if I do it again, it's not entertaining for me anymore because I know like what's going to happen in the movie or like I know the script, you know, in the book. So it's boring for me. Can you guys do that? I cannot, for, for example. I have no problem with it myself. Yeah, every like uh, four or five years, I can go back to like some series that I really love, like Battlestar, and a lot of the stuff you end up forgetting, and it's fun all over again. I mean, no series, I have a little bit of problem with specifically, but I, I mean, I haven't done that yet. But movies, I can definitely do that. I've done it many times. I sometimes feel like an, you know, like an elephant who never forgets nothing. So I'm like, oh, there was this good movie. I can't. And then I'm like, oh, there's that, there's that in the movie. Like, no, I already know the movie. Yeah, I don't watch. We watch movies so much. They're easier to remember the. Yeah. And then uh, books. Right. I don't read enough to justify reading yeah, something. Read. I'm always re trying to read something new. All right. So next, uh, yeah, I guess next question. Hazard. Mom. Mom. <laughs> Mama, mommy. Hazard. Mama, ma. He's yes. being responsible. Oh, there he is. What's the next question? I wanted to see if I wanted to Bobby, see if you, I wanted to see if, <laughs> I, wanted to see if <laughs> I wanted to see if you guys could uh, survive and organize yourselves without me. Apparently not. Bullshit. You were um, probably we wanking it. We yeah, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Okay, um, describe the upcoming draft and or season in a word and explain why you chose it. Shit. Bosh. <laughs> that's the word or that's like fuck, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Shit, the fuck, I can't, uh, like. Yep, whatever that can I say? Word is. Yeah. That started with P. <laughs> P is yet. P is yet. Um. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, I can go if you want, and no one... Yeah, go ahead. All right, uh, zebra. Jesus. Because? Uh, because this draft can be as black as white. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds racist. No, no, I mean, it can, it, like, it can, it can be... No, hey, you know, it can be, like, no black way, or yeah. white, like, you know, like, what's gonna happen, like, who's gonna be the next pick, blah, blah, blah. And at the same time, it can fuck up, and it will be white, black, white, black, and you don't know what the fuck's gonna be next. It's gonna be. Yeah, I guess, don't know that's really fuck. weird. I was gonna say the exact same thing. What? It's zebra. Zebra. For the same reason. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, the same reason to say same, but like word. Pick, pick your own word. Shit. No, well, shit is just. Like, oh, true. Know. Shit's been taken. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using cunt because the goal is gonna get fucked. All right. Next season, my opponent is probably not, but you know. 
Um, Hazard. Yes. Put your hand on the keyboard. My hands are on the keyboard, Wally. All right, just making sure. <laughs> Mommy. Yeah. What's, oh, your, oh. what's your word you do this has? Um. Vexing. What? What? This this draft is vexing. It vexes vexing. me. Jesus what? God. What the fuck? Let me get yeah, my thesaurus. Well, right, here, here, better yet, for for us stupid people. If you had to make a dish based on this draft class, what meal would you make? <laughs> I'm not going to answer this. It's not my place. And if somebody says fucking waffles, I'll shoot you. Waffles? Why? <laughs> Kelowna waffles. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> leftovers. And I haven't heard this one before. I'm going to go with, with I'm going to go with lobster mac and cheese. Ah. Uh. Hmm. And the reason why this draft is lobster mac and cheese is because there's some, like, fanciness to it at the top. But it's probably not too deep in number in terms of, like, uh, complexity. And it's very basic in the middle and bottom. I don't know, man. That sounds pretty good. Lobster mac and cheese. (laughs) For you Canadians, that's the lobster craft dinner, right? Just learned that one. (laughs) (laughs) Lobster craft dinner. (laughs) Uh, I never are realized you, that was just a Canadian you thing. Attempt that and document it and call it craft dinner the whole time. <laughs> uh, we'll sign you to a pretty sweet contract. Oh boy, tempting. But you have to hit 500 TP first. Ooh. Uh I'm probably gonna retire <laughs> before that happens. <laughs> <laughs> no, even worse. Marty, you're I'm a goalie die. in real life, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you like playing goalie? How is that? Uh, it's got to be the least fun position to play and in that? the entirety of hockey. But it happens to be the best one I'm at. <laughs> so, it's, I'm stuck with it. Does it hurt a lot when you get hit in the mask with the puck? Oh, n- the mask? No, not at all. I mean, unless it's from the side. If, when, when it hits the front and hits the cage, it just bounces off, essentially. Never okay. even... The, My the second helmet that. doesn't... Sh- the helmet is tightened enough that it doesn't shake. Hopefully, if he did it correctly. <laughs> um, but no, Rigoli is such high risk, low reward when it comes to just making good plays or bad plays. You don't get the recognition that you should for good ones as a player would, and you get blamed whenever the bad ones happen. That sounds so like a. That kind of reminds me of a pitcher in baseball. That's kind of changed over the last 10 years. It's but pretty rough. You kind of expect it to be perfect-ish, and when you fuck up, like you give up a home run or you let in an easy goal, you get shit on pretty hard. But it's and it's not even. I'm sorry for interrupting, but it's not even for the most part other people. It's usually yourself that you gets you the worst, as a goalie at least. Uh, it's without without the fan base, so without the fan base. Down. Toe, toe in the chat is saying that he gets his goalie pretty high after a good game and that you just have bad teammates. So, would you like to respond to that? I'm sorry, ask that again? Just read the chat. It's a pretty good question, or statement, I guess. <coughs> sorry. Which one? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Um, well, most of my team is go is high going into a game, so I guess that's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Not most, but quite f- more than a line. <laughs> more than a line? Yeah. Is there a high line? It's terrible. They play a it's, high line. <laughs> this is the lowest skill level at, our, at my age group, unfortunately. I really should have been higher. So then, for me to be really competitive and head into a group that's acting like this is beer league... And hardly try makes it even worse. Ugh. So it depends on the lead. So you're the best. Uh, the best position for you is the goalie, right? And you're I'm sorry. Sort of uh, that's that's my best. That's the. Yeah. I'm and the best. Are you good? Like, are you league? decent at least at the at that lowest league, or 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 you just suck? I don't think I'm. I'm. I think I should be in a higher league. My skill level, I think, fits better with a higher skill level. <laughs> that made no sense. It in makes a higher sense. league. Yeah. But it's been a very weird uh, year in that 
I have terrible defense, so I face a lot of so basically shots call I around shouldn't. Avalanche, you know? <laughs> I so face a lot of shots off. I shouldn't, and then a lot of goals that... Really weird goals. Uh, I had one, the weirdest one, the absolute sums up the season perfectly. Um, I was on my posts, on my stick side posts, covering, looking into the corner. So then I dropped down into the position that's called the VH, or vertical horizontal. So my leg against the post is vertical, and then my leg away from the post is on the ice. And I take a shot right off the top of my vertical uh, pad. The pad bends down, because the top obviously doesn't have my leg to support it, and the puck goes top shelf. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> that's interesting. As well as a, f a few goals, I think two or three that have just glanced off my glove and rolled in essentially very slowly. Yeah, that would be a struggle. You have time to contemplate it going in and think about it and <laughs> like that. <laughs> um, sort of. It's it's enough time that I hold my position for a second and realize, wait a minute, I don't have the puck, and then I get to turn and see it in the net. Yeah, I definitely feel you there. I mean, obviously, I'm playing goal as much as I have lately. It's yeah, those circumstances happen though, and it's just like I think the hardest. I think the key for goalies are just being able to um, just literally shake off anything that happened and just continuing to move through the game. Because when you when you get to our level of play, I mean, and I'm not saying it's good or it's bad or anything like that. I'm saying at like our age, where it's not necessarily high, high intense competitive, it's like there's they're not bringing anybody else in. If you have a shitty ass defense and they somehow get five six goals on you, it, there's there's nobody else coming in for you. So you literally have to sh fight through the shitty part of the night just to get through the game and then go back to the locker room where you know goddamn well people are wondering why the fuck couldn't you save them. Oh no, yeah, I'd rather stay in a game than get pulled for one. Yeah. Because that's just, that's a different matter. Oh no, I absolutely. Really... I'm just saying in general, like, yeah. It just, yeah. It's why I wanted more for myself, but yep. it's been, it's, it's, the Canadian minor hockey system is such a butchered <laughs> attempt at making things equal and skill-based. <laughs> so I I tried out for AAA, and the coach that was deciding goaltenders, his son was one of the ones trying out. Of course, he makes the team. All right, I think I was in the running. I might have not made the team if it was someone else, but you know, I was I was wasn't terrible. Double A comes along. We have a scrimmage uh, for one of the tryouts. There's only four goaltenders. Uh, two of the goaltenders, including myself, get shutouts. I face the most shots, with the other two goaltenders getting scored against uh, twice and once, respectively. Both of those goaltenders make the team. Both of the goalies say yeah, shutouts get cut, and a player that didn't even go to either tryouts and went to an exhibition game makes the team. Sure. Yeah, that would be a struggle. Absolutely. Sounds like a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> it Has is. a year round, or I'm here. I'm just listening because this is interesting. Because I didn't grow up playing hockey, so mm -hmm. I, I really don't have a lot of feel for that. You know, I was I was playing baseball and soccer, and so and basketball for that matter. But that's just because, you know. Uh, um, I, I think I kind of know what you mean though about baseball growing up. At least you know if you kind of have all the guys who the, the select team guys are, were all friends before they got named to the select teams and their parents are all friends too. Essentially. Yeah. It's the coaches are too afraid to break up the team that they've had before is essentially. Yes. Yes. That that's very prevalent in youth baseball. At least it was in my experience. Um, so I, I moved to Missouri when I was a kid and uh, there's no hockey out here really, but there's a the freshman baseball coach. Heard through the grapevine that I played uh, goalie for ice hockey when I was living in Michigan when I was a kid. So he just assumed I'd be a good catcher for his freshman baseball team. That didn't work out so well. <laughs> oh, what was the leash? Yeah, it was the leash. Watching it, too. 
But yeah, I played goalie when I was a uh, for ice hockey, and then uh, I played roller hockey. I was forward because I was the only one who knew what the fuck was going on. <coughs> I guess we can move on now. <laughs> yeah, we can move on. Do we have any more questions? I'm uh, having Vietnam flashbacks. <laughs> yeah, there's. I think those are the extent of the questions that we the uh, rocked an hour sense. for for SHL talk. So we 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 do. Wow, it, we've uh, done the it. Time has flown by a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. It's only five a.m. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they also. So how about some Rocket League? <laughs> yeah, guys, I'd be super down for some Rocket League if we want to end the podcast and start doing oh, yeah. that. All right. Well, uh, qu- quick, we got to get back to the straw poll here, and it looks like Wally. Right. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Wally, yes. get the fuck out. Wally, you're going to have to trade yourself. See, that's, here's that's the thing that you guys don't awesome. get, is the fact that I'm the yeah, king yeah, of trades, and so I already have a trade in oh, So this is true. actually me signing off as your GM, not just <laughs> of the podcast. Wow. <laughs> that's deep. He's going to Buffalo, I bet. I'm, I'm going back to, I'm, I'm going to Regina. I'm the head GM, yes! <laughs> and I'm actually I'm, taking Haz with me. Oh, yes. shit. I'm disapp- I was just about to say, I'm, I'm disappointed my petition failed to get Hazard any votes. Because that means the Dude, Latvians I are taking over. Zero yep. votes. <laughs> Tweedle, you got right. zero votes too, man. That's awesome. Yeah. You're going to fail oh, so hard. No, that, that just means you're not popular. True. Like, no, 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 it means we have no trade value is what it means. Those are, the, those <laughs> yeah, are the, like, some like, of those alternative facts Christmas coming out. Value. <laughs> They're like, who, who should we get? Uh, no, not those guys. I don't want for them. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah. Oh no! Don't bring that back. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that 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 meme needs to die. Well, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't go that far, but still, it's pretty old. We don't need to bring it back. No good we reason. Need- they were gonna Make give up you up. They were gonna let no. you down. Even that less. Oh god, he's singing again. We gotta <laughs> end this shit now. We gotta end this podcast. <laughs> anyone, <laughs> anyone in the stream chat has a question, maybe? Yeah, if anyone in the chat wants to fire a question off at us, we'll answer no, anything. No, I, I have a question. Toe, are you listening to any question you want? Toe, as in Toe Dragon? That's who as that is? Toe Dragon. That's, yeah, that's me. That's oh Dogfish. In the chat. Okay, thanks for telling. That was my question, by the way, because he kept on trooping me. Ugh. It does not cost one mil to. <laughs> oh, it does. Well, it co- it costs him. So every question you ask, he pays you one million. The fuck is that? Oh, we, got, we got Walrus in the chat. Walrus, would you like to ask us a question? He just <laughs> broke the stream. What the question is, what the fuck? You pay me three million to ask a question. <laughs> it doesn't cost that? anything. That's a lie. Uh, Walrus can suck a dick. <laughs> <laughs> I still love you, Walrus. <laughs> I say that he sucks the dick and asks asks us a question. Does that cost three million dollars too? <laughs> uh, uh, it's called an economics decision. Yes. I He's heartbroken now. He doesn't know who said that. that we're gonna hey, do. you fucking twat! <laughs> <laughs> it's obese. Yeah, Fuck. it's obese. What? It's obese. <laughs> no, I was not listening. What was, what was it? Just say, yeah, it was me. No. I don't even know. It's not like I... we were teammates a few seasons ago. <laughs> yeah. Yay. No. All right. Nope. See, the more, the more we fill our team with Latvians, the less people will know who's talking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And the more we talk, the less time we have for Rocket League. That is true, too. Yeah. All right. Thank you, guys, everybody who tuned in for this part of the podcast. We're going to stream some Rocket League with the team. Anyone who wants to play, just send us a message on Discord. Um, are we going to try... Uh, or do you want to hop over in the SHL Discord? 
the class. Yeah, I was thinking. Yeah, I would. Oh, I would hop over there, guys. Yeah. yeah, let's do that. Anyone who wants to play Rocket League, um, because. Well, I guess we could play Overwatch, but I don't have Overwatch, so I'd be out. Um, but yeah, I'm down for some Dang. Rocket League. I'm just switching computers right now. So, Tweedle, I don't know if you want to cut off the stream and then restart it when we're all set. Uh, yeah, that sounds good. We can take a, a little break here. Yeah, maybe a little five-minute break. break. Reconvene <clears throat> for some Rocket League. Yeah, sounds good. Get, yeah, from... Thank, thank you for anyway. stopping in. For yeah, the, thanks, everybody. Yeah, so too. yeah, this was awesome, guys. Thank you. Bye. Right. Until right. next time. Lighting off. Until next time. It's not over. <laughs> Fuck you.